Alrighty, we're back! And hopefully, um, this will be the ending. I mean, you know, I kinda had fun with this game. And I'm still having fun, but, uh... I don't know. I also always love an ending of a game to finish something and to have the great revelation. This looks really cool. Also, there's spoopy things up there. Let's see how they, whether they come alive. Wow, we still have equipment from people. That's amazing. Um, pickaxes, rope, plywood, blah, blah, blah. So nothing. Ooh. To whoever finds... What was in oh. it for him? <clears throat> Is it really all about these tablets? To whoever finds this, forgive me. I've sabotaged the dynamite to prevent my colleagues from sealing this temple to the world. No! Von Heuten! Lady Bradshaw was right to bring me here. These creatures are key to limitless power. There are secrets here that could allow humanity to reach across the stars, perhaps even achieve immortality itself. You know what? Turning into a monster, that's not really immortality in the sense that you think it is. Please safeguard this ruin and do not think badly of me for what I've done. I do. I will think badly of you, Alice van Hoyten. Um, I serve only the future. You don't, Alice. You're a doofus. Here. I found something. Yeah, in a bit, Salim. Examine the pedestal. Wanna wanna take a dive, uh, Jason? Or what are you looking at? Yeah, that looks ominous. Gotta gotta agree. Oh wait, I can talk to you. Let's talk. But I wouldn't give to see daylight again. Mm. Daylight and a cold one. Rachel. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. Eric was a good man. He was. Yeah, you hardly knew him. You hardly knew him, Jason. I mean, thanks for the condolences, but rings a little bit untrue. Okay. They are coming. We must end it here with... If there's time, my last act will be to dictate this diary onto... Found in the rubble. It can serve as a warning to any who... What did he do to his paper? I mean, Alice von Heuten's paper was clear as day. You could read everything. And whenever the professor is writing, it's just, you know, smeared. <sighs> the bones of this temple are drenched in blood. We have set foot on an uncharted shore and roused something ancient and wicked. A blasphemy that comes in indescribable shapes and forms. For eons, we lived as children in this world unaware of the horrors that slumber beneath our feet. Now we have blindly thrown open the gates to madness. I fear being taken, but I must do what I must. We must seal this place for eternity, for all mankind. Mary, I'm sorry. Okay, that was very long. Made it out alive. <clears throat> yeah, no shit, Rachel. We would have read about it when you were researching this place if they would have made it out alive. Oh. Hans? Hans, victim, implants parasite, parasite gestates. Post death, parasite takes over. Like, why did Alice think this is a good thing to do for humanity? Did they, did he maybe think that um, you would grow wings and just could be, you know, Alice von Hoyten but with wings? That's just naive. Well, there's so much stuff lying around. I love it. Oh, 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 oh. The next game? There will be a next hotel? There will be a next game. I thought this was supposed to be the last game. But that I like. Please, no military. Please, 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 super massive games. Just no, no military. Like, I want youngish, annoying people bickering 
and then supernatural stuff. That's totally my thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Look at this. Oh, I missed a few. Oh well. Let's just let's just ignore those empty spaces. Okay. And there was some some other thing. Yeah. Oh, music. Is it for the whoop? You know the fluty thing. As I discover more about the musical language of these creatures, my mind spins in wonder at how they came to be here. Did they soar through the skies in the days of the dinosaurs? Did their great empire span the globe while we were still swinging from the trees? They are dead now. Their forms are somewhat like our own, but everything else about them is alien to life as we know it. The console displays what appears to be a constellation of stars, Cetus, as seen from Earth. Did they come here from beyond, crossing great gulfs of space to land here? Were they trying to get home? I mean, this looks like alien environment. I mean, this turned from Tomb Raider to alien. I don't think singular aliens because of the military shit. And the all the structures looked very much like uh, spaceship stuff. So, did he just wrote down a pretty little ditty that the monsters like? How confident are you that they'll work? They'll work. I should have said it sooner, but I'm, I'm sorry about Eric's death. Thank you. It means a lot. Rachel, I, j I just want to... I want to say that I've come too far to lose you now. We're going to get out of here. I know it. I like your confidence, Bray. I'm not sure, Nick. Um, no, Eric. Nick? Eric. Oh. Nick. Eric is the ex. Because they, the game made such a big deal about um, Nick has been hurt, Salim has been hurt, you only have one mad pack to help, and then um, Nick helps Salim. So I think something with Nick's wound will, will happen. Something that isn't good. Okay. Oh, it's singing. That's one way of describing it. I'm blue, I'm da ba dee da ba die, and da ba dee da ba. Okay. <laughs> There's meaning here. It's a language formed from chords. Musical scales, sonics. Mary was a pianist. She deciphered it. She thought these carvings represented the stars. Do you see? It's Cetus, the whale. We're a long way from the night sky. It's a mystery. According to the journal, there was only one scale of sound in the device. But Mary was studying it alone. I think there may be another. I'm going to need your help. What can I do? This console is too big to operate single-handedly. Jesus Christ, Rachel, clean your fucking face. I just... it makes me sick to see you covered in blood and whatnot. Just, come on, just wipe it a little bit. I literally, I don't know what you want me to do, game. I don't know what, I don't, I don't, look, I don't have my whole desk for the mouse. I have a mouse pad. What do you want me to do? What is this? <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, ugh. Oh my god, game, let me... Okay. Just... <laughs> okay. I was losing it a little bit. It's not good gameplay. This is not... This was not fun. This was not nice. Mary believed that these creatures were once peaceful. Her language was one of music. How could they 
not feel emotion. Then a tragedy fell upon them. Their great empire collapsed. Their music fell silent, and they turned on each other. What? What happened? A sickness? A madness? What turned them from architects into killers? Whatever it is, it twisted them. Now they're creatures of hate. Animals. Dead things. No one left to kill. I mean... So they slept. And they waited. They waited for us. Is anyone buying this shit? I don't know, but... Old Mother Mary was right about one thing. There's no more good in this place. Then come on. Let's go burn these motherfuckers. How is that realistic? They have like a handful of explosives. Do you see this? This is ridiculous. This is impossible. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Those mounds are made of cocoons. Thousands of them. If we set the charges there, they'll all burn. No, they wake up. A few of them will burn. Realistically. Honestly. Shit, they're hatching. We gotta move. Quick. Okay. Listen up. We've been hit hard tonight. We lost brothers. Including our own colonel. They were also... But now, it's time to get some payback. Clarice, Jason. We plant charges on as many of those clusters as possible and then detonate them remotely. The second those charges go off, we haul ass to the exit. If luck is on our side, we'll do more than fry a few vampires. We'll create a diversion. If we die here, at least we'll take some of those bastards down with us. Okay. Who's going to place the dynamite? Come on, Jason. You're the least likable character. Right, fuck it. I'll no, come on, Nick. Not you. You're crazy. We'll do it together. Nah, the more of us down there, the more chances we'll get seen. Take the detonator. If I don't make it... Nick, hear me out. If I don't make it... I want you to blow those charges. Just don't go getting trigger happy on me. Every step of the way, you keep a radio contact. And if there's no radio signal? Then I'll pop a flare. You see it go up, you hit that detonator. Be quick and be safe. You hear me, buddy? So sorry for probably killing Nick in advance. I'm I'm quite sure like he can't make it. Yeah, he he's already wounded. That will play a part in this. And uh, yeah. what was that? Was there something? There's a glinty. Inspect. I can't make it up. Well, it's a it's a thingy. It's a hidden. What? Oh, where is he? Oh, shit. There. There's one ahead of him. To his left. Nick, the cocoons are hatching ahead of you. You gotta move fast. What a co inky dink that they're hatching right now when we're there. That seems kind of... First item at his down. Oh, my God, my cats are fighting. <laughs> Not now. Which way? Left or right? Right. Oh no! Oh, I knew it. Ah, oh, no! Ha 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 ha! I knew it! 
The blood from Nick's injury woke a creature in the cocoon vault. Side. Oh shit. Um, I probably have to advance. Oh, it's just the trades because here's the thing. I think it's too. It's not enough ammunition to begin with. So to do even less. Mm -hmm. This is way too easy. What is it? Did I kill him now? There are too many. Is it that man? Sweet baby Jesus. Wait! What will warning him do now? There is no way out. Hey, how's it looking up there? Man, hundreds of them. At least you've got the boss to tell me the truth. I'm sorry, Nikki. For this? For what happened at that checkpoint? It's a war, Jason. Bad shit happens. Ho <laughs> ho what? Who wrote that sentence? I'm speechless. Attacking. 
that's why I wanted that Jason would go. Although, in this game, if you don't see them dying... Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I don't trust myself to not kill him. Updated. Kuhn cornered Nick after he planted extra charges in the cocoon vault. That's just a thing. I mean, would have. I don't think. I mean, only one cocoon would have exploded otherwise. I don't get this game sometimes. <laughs> Feels like this whole damn place is coming down. Yeah, but why? It's Salim. He's still alive. Salim, come in, man. Are you there? me what but Nick you just said I don't what why did you say um don't leave a man You're behind wrong. Salim is one of us now Marines don't leave their own behind you hear me Salim if I don't make that tell my son I did everything I could tell him yourself I'm coming to get you did I misunderstood I thought Nick was like we need to get him out or did he... Maybe I misread something. Because those two sentences didn't make sense as I heard them. Jason went back into the city to rescue Salim. That's not really the city, is it? 
come on. <laughs> it's like you go to the city to meet with friends and have a cup of coffee or go on a night out. You just, this is not a city, sorry. Achievement unlocked. Simplify. Ugh. But why couldn't they fly up now? I mean, these are winged creatures. It takes more than a few bats to kill you. Oh man, that was unfucking believable. Those things were all over us. Me and Celine busted through them like it was the last down of the goddamn Super Bowl. <laughs> Listen up. Not out of the woods yet. What I see in front of me, you're the best. Uh, Fuck that. Best of the best. We will get home. Oorah! Oorah! That's like. Oorah. Don't do it! No, Salim! No! <laughs> this is bad humor. Oorah. No! <laughs> The comedy in this game is so old. It's at least 10 or 20 years old. It is just... It's so cringy. Oh, we're Rachel now. Okay. This way! Hurry! What is it? No, Jason, don't stop. Don't look for weird My stuff. Lieutenant. What is it? What? <laughs> oh my god. Clarus came back from the dead to attack the survivors. Yeah, that was to be expected. I love the little nose ring. <laughs> just such a fancy Buffy villain. Let her go. 
Girl just didn't know how to stay dead. Will Clara's come back? No? Yes? Yeah, that will not reach wherever that spot on the top. But that That's why they didn't show it. Because of the way she threw it, that's how I throw things. And <laughs> no, never. Never. <sighs> that was not the, the first and successful attempt. She probably threw it a few times. <laughs> <clears throat> How the hell do we make it through that? Everyone okay? You still with me, buddy? <laughs> Will they come at night? We got two alive. They're fucking ready to go home, Marines here. Shit. This is Mailman 2 under Coyote 2. Are you receiving? This is Rhino 15, solid copy. We're five minutes from your position. Where the hell have you guys been? Over. Air support was nearby when the survivors emerged on the surface. But here's the question how will they treat Salim? Also. <laughs> I love that this picture <laughs> implies that Eric survived. Sorry. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that's because Mervyn repaired the radio so the survivors could call for rescue. Uh huh. Interesting. Improvise, As adapt, and overcome. We fucking did it! <sighs> I just forgot how bright it is out here. Hello, sunshine. Am I happy to see you? I must return home to my boy. He must be worried about me. Yeah, what will happen to Salim? Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, it's hilarious. Come, my children. I mean, these creatures could move. How long is the eclipse passes? You tell me. I don't know shit about space. Contact. They can break through this. Theoretically, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Help! 
got any more bright ideas? You could give them the coke. <laughs> is this it? Flares? Where's the ammo? But they hate light. Here's what we got. Interesting knowing you. What? Oh god, Salim, okay. Couldn't they come back during night? Like that was just three minutes. <laughs> right? Wanna ask some questions about this monster? No? Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, well. 
What's PW? Yeah, what's PW? No comment on the monster, on the literal monsters. But honestly, nighttime. I mean, the, the eclipse was just for a couple of minutes. Nighttime is, is a bit longer, you know, <laughs> from what I remember. <laughs> so. No one's thinking about that? No, no one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Like, you woke up all these monsters. That was you. You did that. Freely they stood who stood, and fell who fell. Not bad. Yeah. You guided some of your charges to the light, while others have fallen to the dark. Literally. <laughs> Survival often comes at a great cost. A cost that others sometimes must pay. I look forward to our next encounter. Perhaps. I'll choose a story that's a little more homely next yes. time. Somewhere yes. you'll be guaranteed of a decent night's sleep. <gasps> Hotel. Rest assured. Wherever it is, you'll find it extremely hard to leave. Until the next time. Bye! You know yes. But where are you? Look, uh, look at this. What is this? Where are you, curator? I want a story about you. That's that's my dream. You're late and you look like shit. I just got off the red eye. What's your excuse? Good flight? Oh, shit movie, shit meal, no leg room. They cram me in the back? By the toilets. Nice. Ew. Coffee wasn't so bad, though. Good fucking muffins. Did you read the brief? From the flight. <laughs> How's it going with the analysis team? The ISG team took heavy losses, but it wasn't a complete disaster. We just had to scrape some of them off the floor. Poor bastards. And the entities? Like nothing we've seen before. Oh! oh Jason, First Lieutenant, Marine Force Recon. The best of the best, huh? Or so they advertised. Fuck! Now, how many times do I have to keep telling you the same damn story? I understand. However, SETCOM needs to iron out any irregularities. Such as? The whole fucking thing was irregular. Such as why you allied with an enemy combatant? You ain't fucking there! Those things were ripping us to shreds. I don't give a damn who it was. We needed all the help we could get. I stepped back into that hell to save Selim. And that man was worth five of you people. Semper fucking five! And Colonel King? What about Colonel fucking Kane? How did he die? He led us all the way to hell. Hell burned him up. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so they cooperated with an Iraqi soldier down there? Republican guard, if you can believe it. Must have made a hell of an impression for Kolchak to go back for him. I'm dying to meet this guy. I am not answering any more questions until I see my son. That's not how we do things around here. You don't have a clue. Jason came back for me. What does that tell you? Down there, this damn war of yours was over. I'd like to talk more about the entities. The vampires. I'm finding it very hard to believe that you killed those things with that. Untie me, and I'll show you how I did it. The analysis team are still pulling specimens from the site. It's carnage down there. They used dynamite? We don't know how they got their hands on it. No, 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 I'm done. I told you already. It was a city, a goddamn city full of those things. There were cocoons down there. Fucking thousands of them. How many organisms were still alive down there? Too many. Oh, for all those sake, they're all fucking burdened. 
Obviously they didn't because a lot of them fla like flew the out. Uh huh. Ah, and here we have Colonel Eric King, our in-house genius. He definitely got more than he bargained for. Those two were married, right? In the loosest sense of the word. He felt his death. Yeah, I've read the report. Wonder if there's more to it than that. The answer to that died with him. This comes down to Kalis. It mistook the temple for Saddam's weapon depot. Piece of shit system. I wouldn't say that. It's been a big find for us. We've been lucky. This is your definition of lucky? Is that urine? <laughs> What's well, that? <laughs> do you believe me now? This is Miller. <clears throat> He'll be fully debriefing you. Debriefing? You need to get your damn priorities straight. Those things are still down there. What are you doing about them? There will be plenty of time to talk things through. Right now, I suggest you count your blessings that you came through the other side. It's nothing short of a miracle that you survived down there. I learned not to rely on anyone but myself. I was stronger than them all. We'll we're in a team. Me. Come on, Rachel. Samba fun! Like next Sunday? Janet's making hot pot. You bet your ass we're on. Mmm, hot pot. I'll never get used to this job. Why would you want to? At least this one was localized. And the small blessings. So, what do you make of it all? Doesn't matter what I think. Only thing that matters is controlling the flow of information. As far as the world knows, not a damn thing happened here. Okay, so they will probably cover it up and kill everyone involved? So we didn't really save anyone. Not really, theoretically. Hmm. Or maybe they, they pay everyone a, a good sum of cash so they can... Live their lives happy, except Jason. <laughs> um, yeah, I leave the credits on, even though the music is super annoying. What is this song? Anyway, so yeah, I, that was it, House of Ashes. I'm quite sure when it said we unlocked something, that was maybe a teaser trailer for the next game, so we'll take a look at that, if it's there, if that is what it is. And otherwise, I will probably do a short sum up when the credits are over, because the music is super loud and I can't properly talk. So, but oh, it's, it's, we're nearly there. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. You want to know what it means to be a killer? Think of the most profound thing you've ever done. Nothing. The most beautiful thing you've ever created. Nothing. And I promise you. It's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. <laughs> kind of is. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That's true art. That's what you have to be, an artist. I've left my mark on the world. Have you? Season 1 finale! The Devil in Me. Oh, so they are playing with seasons. Interesting. But an actual serial killer episode? Oh, that could be super tasteless. But we'll see, we'll see. I mean, this one wasn't super tasteful <laughs> either. Um, but that will be in the hotel, I guess. Okay, so that was it. House of Ashes. We played it through. Oh. 
overall, I had fun, but not as much fun as with Little Hope. Because I played Little Hope with PlayStation. I don't know whether it's a PC versus PlayStation issue. I thought the gameplay uh, was just a lot more icky um, with the PC, with the keyboard and the mouse. Um, I had a lot more fun with the controller back then. Maybe I should just, you know, try the next one with a controller on the PC. I don't know. Um, but I also like the Little Hope setting more. Again, this is a personal preference, but I like my horror more in with with you know private citizens, normal people. <laughs> what scientists? Weirdly, I'm really into any horror that has to do with science, scientists, experiments, stuff like that, um, or astronauts. Give me astronauts, or you know, deep down at the bottom of the sea, you know, um, like sh ship crews or whatever. But m the military in itself. It's because the, the, the conversations in almost all military movies, they're always the same. They really, I hate them. It's too much bravado, masculine, toxic, nationalist bullshit um, that I just really detest just with my heart. Um, and that was, it was a lot of here. And there were also undertones in the story where I felt like, okay, they want to kind of be like they want to have it all you know they want to be like yes the military is uh problematic and um america invaded iraq but uh, i mean come on the iraqi army was also kind of problematic and if they just come together then they will be best friends look even the the nazi was you know jason was in the end was the best friend of salim so you see everything works out if you just work together and this is not how it is in reality so i don't like these kind of storylines because they're fairy tales but they also have this weird thing where they in the end advertise the military because that's what they did here you know our soldiers were the heroes um, and I'm, I'm, f I feel incredibly uncomfortable with that. Um, I don't know that, that one sentence that Nick said, you know, that it's war and you have to do this, you know, it doesn't matter that you kill that woman, that innocent woman, it's war. And that's like the worst, th like to be actually dealing with a trauma like this. And also, by the way, this is such a common, th this is one of the biggest tropes in military psychological horror stories or horror stories in general i think uh, blair witch the game did it as well and i've probably seen a lot of movies tv shows whether horror or not where the trauma of one of the soldiers or several of them is that they killed an innocent civilian um <clears throat> and to then just go and be like well it happens <laughs> that's what happens in war you know that is disgusting so yeah all of this the the whole military thing made me really comfortable which is why i really hope that the next episode of, of uh, the dark anthology the dark pictures anthology i don't know why i always say the dark anthology um <clears throat> will move away from that obviously supermassive games and politics not so you know not so nimble let's just leave it at that um, and I also still think that the characters were a lot less interesting um, than pre in previous games. I think Until Dawn had some of the funnest characters. I can't remember any of their names, I'm sorry. But in, especially the main mean girl is my favorite character. I love her. She's amazing. I also don't think that she's actually a mean girl. I mean, except the thing she did at the beginning of the game. But other than that... <laughs> In the rest of the game, I just thought she was a very self-confident <laughs> young woman making her way through the world. And I really enjoyed her. And I, I like that um, even though the characters were a bit tropey, they all had a bit of an attitude. They all had a personality. And I think in House of Ashes, I still don't know who Nick is. I think he's a very bland character. The same goes for Rachel. Yes, she's stubborn, but what else? There's nothing. Um, Eric was bl the blandness of the bland. Um, Jason was intolerant and apparently super loyal. So I think he was 
somewhat fleshed out. And Salim, he was kind of fun because he seemed to be a reluctant soldier. But they completely wiped that away with the end of the game where he suddenly was all in the military spirit with a Semperfly or Ura. And I'm not quite sure whether it was realistic to have him. I, I actually would have loved for him to keep more of his reluctance um, <clears throat> and be like, you know, because that would have been a nice contrast to him basically being the most badass person in this game because he killed all the vampires. I think no one else did. <laughs> I think he was the only one who actually, with his bare hands, nearly um, killed all of those vampires. So it would have been a... Yeah, I think uh, most of the characters were super bland. <clears throat> they were not as interesting. There were a few hints at more interesting character traits. And maybe I also... My, my choices regarding character decisions, for example, between Rachel and Eric, were not leading them to be more interesting. But still, I think, if I think of Little Hope and the only ni name I can remember is Angela, and Angela was a, an annoying, horrible delight. She was so sassy. She was so mean. She was an actual mean girl. She was so mean. She was so gossipy. I loved it because it's entertaining. So I hope also that in the next game they will return to their form of writing what we want. Or what I think works best for the Dark Pictures anthology or for Supermassive Games is basically a teenage daily soap opera, but as horror. You know, um, like Scream, like Slasher, uh, if you haven't seen that anthology. It's super gory if you don't like blood and guts because, oh boy, it's violent. But if you like this kind of horror, then Slasher might be, you know, your uh, the Dark Pictures anthology fix. <laughs> Because it has a bit of a thing to it that feels like... Because it really has this, the same kind of uh, characters that you kind of love to hate. Um, yeah, and I hope that uh, Supermassive Games will go back to that. I also hope that they will sort out a bit of the gameplay. Because I thought some of the choices were not really... They changed a few things up and not for the better. So all in all, this entry... You know what saved this entry from being the worst? Because I think Man of Medan, if you really look back at, at, at all the games, Man of Medan is the one that was most disappointing, I guess. Um, it was interesting the first time through, but I, I don't think there's much to discover later on. Um, and I thought Little Hope, I still want to replay this because I feel like Little Hope has a lot of things you can do differently and maybe even save people in the past and whatnot. So at some point I will probably pick it up again. Um, and I think on that account, it, and it was super entertaining. Like I was entertained the whole way through. With House of Ashes, I was a bit bored at times because all those action scenes, I thought they were boring. Again, that's a personal choice. That's a personal preference. I don't, I think being over equipped with guns and dynamite and whatnot in a fight against supernatural entities is always less exciting than being completely helpless. Um, you know, that's why Alien is an incredibly tense horror movie and Aliens is an incredibly fun action horror movie. There's a difference. Um, but what saved House of Ashes is the twist because that is truly, I mean, that was kind of a sight to be seen. The, the environments of the cave um, and I mean the the down ca the the city. <laughs> this, why would you call it a city? It's not a city. It's a lair. That's what you call it when it's vampires. It's a lair. Anyway, the lair looked gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. I love the the green lighting and everything. It was so gorgeous. Um, and all the the enormity of it was so impressive. And I thought the story there with the scientists and everything, I, th I thought that was a really nice idea. Again, I would have preferred them to be the main characters. Um, I thought the game took a little too long to get there. Because again, the, the, the scenes in the cave... Mm. Also, I think when they started to have more lore about the entities... Too much. It's too much. You know, leave something to the imagination. Some, especially with supernatural 
things. I think sometimes it can add to the horror and to the intrigue if you leave st stuff out, you know, if, if some things stay unknowable. Because these creatures once were civilized, communicated through me. Also, what was the thing with the music that had no rhyme or reason? That had no... You can take that out from the story and nothing changes. Again, also with the lore of the creatures. Like, you can take that out and the game is still the same. But maybe even stronger for it because it's still a mystery, you know? what? Like, if you would have just seen the environments and then they did the whole ura dynamite stuff it still would have had the same impact maybe more but this whole why were they fighting against also at no point in this game did the creatures fight against each other so i thought there would be a moment where they would but they never did maybe it was one of the things where you had to find a certain secret or do a certain bearing thing decision for the creatures to actually fight each other i don't know maybe i missed that but as it was, as I experienced this game, I thought this was completely unnecessary. It was too much on top of an already pretty convoluted story. <laughs> um, so yeah, lots of nitpicking things, lots of stuff. That That's the thing. Um, I could talk on and on and on about the, you know, the things I didn't like about this game. But all in all, it was still a fun experience for me. It was frustrating at times. I think everyone who watched the whole Let's Play knows that you know i don't have to tell you because i heckled the characters i rolled my eyes so often i don't think i've ever rolled my eyes as often in another game that i actually enjoyed playing <laughs> and also i was very often frustrated with the gameplay because it the moving oh, it was so awkward but i still I don't know, I still enjoy the, this type of game, you know, that there's not really mistakes that end the game or that you have to restart something and do a scene over and over again until you beat something or someone. So I still enjoy the concept, but I do think that this is not the strongest entry in this series. And yeah, that's my opinion on it. What do you think? How did you enjoy it? Did you like the setting? What was your favorite character? Did you have a favorite character? Um, what's your opinion on the ending? Do you think I missed anything concerning the story? I mean, I know I missed things because of my decisions and everything, but did I miss anything that was hinted at in the story and that I just com got completely wrong in my explanation of it? Um, please tell me in the comments. I'm I'm always happy when someone gives me their theory because sometimes it can really just open my eyes. Um, so yeah, feel free. Also, you know, you can like this video if you like this video. And if for some reason you watched through these now, I think, seven hours of me playing House of Ashes and you haven't subscribed yet or you just tuned in because you wanted to see my reaction to the ending, that's a thing I think some people do. Um, and you, you know, you enjoyed my <laughs> my ramblings, then feel free to subscribe. And I promise you, I will not force you to say "ura" ever. Also, those beasts will come out in the nighttime. I don't know why it wasn't addressed. Those beasts will definitely like why. Why would they not come out during night? But during the, the the eclipse, which is basically, it's, I don't get it, I don't get it. Anyways, um, yeah, I hope you had a good time, <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and had a wonderful day, you know. Um, and maybe, see you soon, bye bye bye. This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's plays.